Okay, so let's touch base here and see if he's willing to tell us where Alba is. Which is not her real not name, the turns out. Saved me from Sol Lassa. Boy, I'm so grateful to you. Boy, I owe you so much. But you wanted to ask me questions? That's true. Um, let's start with Alba. We're looking for a naught girl. The same one that the Inquisitor is looking for. But I promised Alba to say nothing. I would really like to help you, but... And you risked your own life keeping your promise. But Alba is in a very delicate situation. If we do not find her first, others will track her down. And they will kill her without letting her defend herself. So she was right to be afraid, that poor girl. She came here saying she was being chased. Boy led her hmm. into the forest nearby to a cave where she could hide. And now you're going to give it up to us? <laughs> notes. I'll show you where she is. Thank you. Did you want anything else? Do you offer services as a guide? Sometimes I take Renaigse to a good fishing place. They give me beautiful objects in exchange. But right now we have to be careful. There have been accidents with the Tenyans. Did you want anything else? I must go. Goodbye. Oh, the Tenlins. Okay, so we have a cave not so far from here. And... The story is... It's interesting with her because... Right from the beginning, I'm thinking, well... It can't possibly be just so straightforward where she is a spy for Teleme. Could it possibly be? Uh, it seems like the answer to that question is... Uh, maybe? <laughs> maybe it is possible. I don't know if we're getting right... Whoa. I don't know if we're going to make it uh, right through here. I'm trying to avoid these dos and tans that are over here. Uh, so we're likely going to have to go through this, this opening here. But there's also like this giant clearing or there's this road which might bring us over there. Here's what we'll do. We've got a camp near the water. Maybe it'll be easier for us to jump over from this camp instead of trying to navigate our way through there. But anyways, about Alba, I think there's something, something sketch, and there's always like a, there's always a little catch, um, but it can lead to some overthinking. And so we'll have to see. We, we won't know until we run into her, basically, is, is what I'm saying. Camp near the water. Yeah, perfect. Okay. We'll see if we can get through this way. Still blocked. A bit of poison on my blade. Let's go! Little Tenlin hunt. Does the body good? I guess him talking about the Tenlins was probably just a hint that, hey, we might run into some problems out here. Bit of poison on my Jesus. Then let's go. Whoa. Back. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go.
Well, she picked a pretty good cave to be hiding in from most people. Maybe not us. I'm wondering, do we have a way through here? Yeah, we do have a little opening here. Is this the same cave? I think this is the same cave that we found. This must be where Alba is hiding. The poor girl. She must have been desperate to take refuge in there. I can't say that I have a good memory of this place. Can't we? Or is that blood just suspiciously similar? Yeah, see? This is where we found the two... The group that left that camp. A group is uh, probably not the right word. There's only two of them. The couple. The young, the young couple that left the camp that was dating in, in secret and their family didn't really believe it. And here they are dead. It is the same. <laughs> and then we walk in and say we don't have a good memory of this place. Look. God damn it. Maybe these are Alvar's things. What camp? And when we were here last... Oh, right, right, right. This... Okay, so this is what he's referring to. This camp. And we had found this chest when we were here previously. That's cool. Okay. Okay. And then there's the back exit or entryway here. And she is here. Well, hello. No, you will not get me. I will not go back to the convent. Whoa. I'm not trying to take her, though. I hope this is one of those situations where she kind of gives up. Nice, You've nice, won. nice. Finish me. I still prefer to die than to return to my father. I get that, Wait, but I'm not here to do that. wrong. She sincerely believes that we're chasing her on behalf of her father. No, I'm not going to execute her. We do not intend to kill you, let alone take you back to your father. So then why are you here? We know you betrayed the Norts who took you in. You stole documents from your captain to sell them to the highest bidder. And we're here to pick them up. What? I never did such a thing. The Norts are the family I chose. See, she's I flat out denying them. it. There's no point in denying it. <laughs> we found the dead drop that you used. We confirmed that you were negotiating to sell secrets. And Captain Reuben, who already suspected you, reported the theft of his book just as you were leaving town. If you were innocent, you wouldn't have fled your crew. But all of this is false. I don't even know what a dead drop is. And if I fled, it was to escape you. Escape us? If you were not the spy, that makes no sense. You better tell us what happened. Some time ago, I knew there was something Captain sketch. Reuben told me that he had been informed that my father had gone to Tierfordy. It worried me. I knew my father would do anything to bring me back. Then, in New Serene, my colleagues told me that the Legate was looking for me. I was scared. I told the captain, who told me that I would find a ship in San Mateus to leave the island. But there were none. I saw my father at the tavern with one of his inquisitors. And I realized that my only chance was to flee deeper inland. A native helped me find this cave, and there you have it. I can't believe it. Reuben used the mistrust of the volunteers to accuse her. And he used us to make her run away. <laughs> Probably to hide the fact that he himself <laughs> Wow, was the see? And I called We've it. We've been duped. We must return to New Serene as soon as possible and warn the Admiral before it's too late. And what will become of me? You will come with us. We will protect you. We'll need your testimony. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And the giveaway... There's a couple little things, but the main giveaway, in my opinion was that um, somebody had mentioned that he came around the same time as her. And that wouldn't have been important. Like, that wouldn't have needed to be stated unless it was important. So... Huh. This is going to be dicey. Let's get home ASAP. Where's the camp? Beautiful.
Now, I would love, I would love to be, like, double double crossed where she is actually doing it. And she's just lying to us here. I would love for that to happen, actually. <laughs> oh, I should really make some ammo. We'll do that. We'll do that soon. Is she with us? Oh, I'm sure she'll show up. Desarde, what can I do for you? Our investigation is well underway, but the culprit is not who we thought. What do you mean? We found Alba, but she was innocent. In fact, her captain used us and her father to scare her. It's because of us that she fled. She never stole documents or tried to sell your secrets. So, are you saying that the culprit is Ruben? That's correct. If this were not the case, why make up this story against Alba and use us like that? I can't believe it. And to think that I believed his lies. However, he is a captain. I cannot condemn him without solid proof. Yeah, that's And we have the to thing. find out who he was selling his journal to. Ask his crew, but stay discreet. Jesus. It should not arouse suspicions. Anything else? Oh, nice. We're friendly with them now. I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Hmm. I don't know how we're going to be discreet here. Uh, you know what? Just in... This is dumb. I'm sure this makes no difference. But let's go in our not gear. And we've already talked to these guys, but... He's basically the one that I... Of the three, the Your one that I trust Excellency. the most. I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. Captain. Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him and runs a tight ship. What else is there to say? He's a captain. I'm only a cabin boy. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first, but when he saw that she was trustworthy, he treated her like one of our own. But when she disappeared, he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be a knot. Yeah. He spoke of treason, that sort of thing. I imagine he regretted having trusted her at all. Anything else, Your Excellency? I think that's good. I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. Good day. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavio. I'm all yours, Captain. The trouble about being discreet here is, like, we've already come and asked them these questions. We asked about um, Alba before, and now we're asking about the captain. And so they have to be wondering, like, new captain? Hmm. He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance. As if he wasn't a member of our species. What do you mean and of our species? Got here, it's been worse. He seems... <sighs> troubled. The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But <laughs> never mind me. It's not my place to judge my captain. He's got responsibilities I can't fathom. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Hello. You need something? What do you think about Captain Reuben? I know what it's going to sound like, but I liked it better when you were captain. Thank you. Heartfelt. But tell me why. He's a good captain, but he lacks team spirit, if you know what, what I mean. What do you mean, like rah-rah? He's aloof. Doesn't get along with his crew. Oh. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen. <laughs> the girls from the tavern. Okay. She scratches his itch. As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. <laughs> oh. Uh... Uh... He's been pretty honest with us. I'm going to return the when favor. When pride and debt are your masters, it can push you to desperate measures. You're afraid he might do something stupid. 
Perhaps. But keep that to yourself, if you would. Anything else? Interesting. I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. I don't know if it's just me, but it does seem like... In a lot of situations... Prostitutes... Or harlots in this scenario... Scenario... <laughs> are named Gretchen. It's a very common harlot name. Very... If you're going to name your kid Gretchen... Just might want to consider... Whether or not... You're in this... Period of time. Because in this period of time, if you're named Gretchen... The likelihood of you becoming a charlatan... Quadruples. It's mathematically proven. Okay. Once again, we visit the sex dungeons. Wait a second. Are we ahead of ourselves? Getting too excited. Oh! Oh, it's her! Hello, my darlings. Hello. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my God, They call day. us the upper crust every the time we're here. You want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like then? <laughs> God damn it. I was told that Captain Reuben liked you a lot and that you spent a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. But it's because I'm the sweetest. <laughs> Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. But what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. Offer her to become a courtesan. How about a change of scenery and a chance to work in a more luxurious environment? Become a courtesan? But don't you need connections to get there? I'm the connection, I'm Gretchen. I'm the of the congregation and the governor's cousin. So? Oh, I'm not stupid enough to miss such a chance. <laughs> what do you want to know? Lovely. Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always complaining about it. He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level. And his admiral despises him. <laughs> he says everyone is unfair towards him and doesn't recognize his talents. And it is Pretty specific him. feedback. Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He has become suspicious, too. Did he tell you about his plans? Like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important and very rich. And that he would marry me. <laughs> but they all say that. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. Okay. This fellow's a complete slime bag. How dare he be so ungrateful? As my ship is collected. But, alas, we still have nothing concrete. We should follow him tonight. You never know. We will do so. Oh, it's you, Ono Menawi. Come and see. I'll receive beautiful things from our village. It has been a minute. Bertir to mad, Ono Menawi. I am always happy to see you again. Do you want to see the objects I brought back from Vignauri? Yeah, let's see what you got going on. Okay, nothing good for us. We want we want purples basically. That's freaking cool though. Man, these are awesome. Oh, that's sweet. I'll never wear it, but I do envy it. It's very nice. Warrior's tunic's pretty cool. Necklace of Harmony. Hmm. I'll buy some hoof fungus. And I'll buy the iron ore from you. Just to support the guy, you know. You can take a couple of my things I'm not using if you'd like. Gotta support local.
Okay. You will always be welcome here. Actually, there's more I can tell you. Okay, so we're gonna sleep it off. Take a little rest here, and then we'll go follow this guy. <laughs> I can't believe we got it right. That's awesome. It's always a feels good. But, to be fair, I'm on edge about almost every mission. And, uh, I'm always assuming that something else is going on. Okay, let's go. Oh, while we're here... While we're here, let's do some of this. Science up a tad. And then we're going to break down this. This is our Teleme thing, so I don't need the old studded carass. That's our lock picking. Worker's outfit can go. And we need to make some ammo. We can get a decent amount here, actually. Okay. And then let's also make some of our... Haze? Yeah, stealthiness. Okay. We're all set. question I have is, who exactly is he meeting up with? Like, who else is involved? Because we've narrowed it down to him, but... Who else? That's the real important question. We can see everything from here. Follow your target from a reasonable distance while staying discreet. Okay, still. Let's haze. The other people around here must be like, uh. Mind me. You'll find all you need. Quit screaming. Now, this is the spot where the other guy was. was at, I think. Oh, I guess he's probably gonna. he's probably going out to the stone, right? Yeah, he's probably going out to the stone. And since we already know who the other guy is, I guess that's probably not gonna be. We're probably not going to have a big revelation on other people that are involved. We'll probably just have to wait till he's putting something under the stone and that's when we can accuse him. That's right. Forgot about the other guy that we met. We, that we met twice <laughs> for some strange bugged reason. Yeah.
Go left, Ruben. Go left. Yep. Here he is, red-handed. The sellout. Shall we arrest him? Yeah, let's let's wait to see actually. We should first find out what he puts in the box. Let him finish. Yep. The way is clear. Now, let's take a look at this box. I'd laugh if he wrote a note for us. He knew we were following him. And he's like, "Why are you the following me?" and his buyer should meet here at nightfall. This must be where the exchange will take place. We should put the message in the box so no one will know we've seen it. Yep, yep, yep. And we should warn the Admiral yep, yep, immediately. Yep. This She'd is good. Let's go. This is top level sleuthing for sure. Let's hustle. I mean, I guess to be fair, the guy who was here, he might have just been working for somebody. And he, even though he sent somebody, like another scout or whatever, to go and grab the stuff for him, he's probably reporting to somebody as well. So maybe we'll actually have a face-to-face -face meeting with the big guy. It's possible. Desarde, what can I do for you? Well, here's the deal. We know a little more. Reuben continues to use the dead drop and has made an appointment with his buyer. He has quite the nerve to continue using that box even though he knows you know about it. He must have thought that we would not come back. The meeting is tonight. This could be a good time to get the proof we need. What do you think? That's an excellent idea. I will come with you. Yeah, I was going to say. I want to see this traitor fall with my own eyes. I like it. Like that guy had a few after work or during. I hope we get to take that perch again. Yeah, it is. K okay, sweet. I love that. Just sit above in the bushes. Potential murder bush scenario. What game did Murder Bushes start in? I think it was um, Horizon Zero Dawn, maybe. Started calling them Murder Bushes. From this position, we'll be able to see the meeting discreetly. Perfect. I can't wait to witness it. This traitor is going to find out exactly what it costs to make fun of us. I can't believe it. This eel is selling us to the coin. The wretched traitor. How dare he sell us to lawless mercenaries. Oh, she's going in. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go. They're all screwed. They have no chance. Let's see if you can ward off this faint. This traitor got what he deserved. Is everything all right, Admiral? It's nothing. Sorry to have charged like that. I got <laughs> carried away. Yeah. I couldn't bear to see this traitor sell his whole family for a few coins. Do you want us to tend to your wound? No, I'll go back to port and get back on my feet. Find the documents. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, the three of you. She's a little hot-headed. I like it. Contract sealed by the guard. Promises him a large sum, as well as a prestigious position on the continent in exchange for the secrets of the knots. In addition to a substantial sum, Reuben is also going to obtain a major post on the continent. Which is exactly what he wanted. Commander's gloves. Nice. Captain Reuben's journal with detailed information on the secret sailings of the knots. He was ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. 
There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere. Jesus. Everything is here. We'll give it to the Admiral tomorrow. Now, I feel it's only right that we give these gloves to Vasco, Commander Gloves. I feel like that's the way to go. Um, I wonder if that other thing that I was... The other thing that I uh, recycled probably would have been better for him, but... Let's be honest, they're mostly holding their own now anyways, when we fight. And by holding their own, I mean I'm killing everything while they distract targets. <laughs> but what are friends for? If not for distracting enemies. Sarde, what can I do for you? How are your wounds? I recovered fast. It was nothing. Did you find the documents he intended to sell? Sure did. Yes, here they are. But there was more than just his journal. So, he lusted after a prestigious position. And what a salary. I see that our secrets are still worth a fortune. Thank you for bringing me all this. As for you, Alba, Jeez. I owe you an apology. I should have trusted you. You have nothing to do with it. The captain did everything to make me appear guilty. No. If we put the same trust in the volunteers as in the Seaborns, this would never have happened. We owe you a lot, Desarde. I will not forget it. Nor will I forget the lesson. Be sure of it. You have my full gratitude. Anything else? No, I think we're good if you're good. Going. Until we meet again, Admiral. That went down a little bit of a windy road for sure. I wonder, um, we still haven't actually checked what they gave to us. Let's go to the residence and see what they put in the box. Holy frick. That is amazing. Two-handed heavy weapon, strength five. Wait, so incompatible with... I'm the only one who could possibly use this? I still need Agility 5, and I still need Long Blades. Man, I wish there were more of these things that, um, that these people could use. But it's like, they're all just specifically for me. Which is a little too bad. But it's fine. Okay. That's not something I'll be able to use. I guess I could break it down, but it's kind of sentimental, so I might just keep it. Now, we have completed everything available to us except for meeting with Glendon. Uh, and the next step of finding a cure for the Malachor. So, what we'll do is... I guess we're going to want Siora... And maybe I'll take, I'll take Siora and I'll take Afra. My lover and my wish was my lover. My failed love. We're going to head out to um, Glendon's place at the Kurganaw camp. And we'll pick up from there. Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you very soon. I'll, uh, I'll jump through this section. And we'll pick up from here when we come back. Thanks so much. Bye now.